Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Rail back with another motherfucker review, man. Yo, check this out. This is BMF, okay? Season 1, episode 1. Alright? All this hustling is so much hustle. We just finished Power, then we get right into BMF. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I want to do some hustling. You see this shit? Real estate life, baby. Come on. You know what I need you to do? If you stay in the Chicagoland area, or if you knew somebody in the Chicagoland area, looking for a real to send them to your boy, man. Send them to, send them to, send them to your boy. Anyway, man, look, check this out. We got Mo Drug Dealer. Mo Drug Dealer, Mo Killing. All right, the Power Verse, the. I got to congratulate 50, man. This nigga is working. And I just heard that November, Power Book 2 comes back. I'm talking about he's not giving us no breaks, and I'm loving it. Okay, we go from Raising Canaan, straight into BMF, and then straight into Power Book 2. He's not letting up, man. You got, look, I don't know how y'all feel about 50, man, but you got to love this man's hustle, man. He's not fucking around. And he's giving us quality actors, right? Especially in Raising Canaan. He he did his thing in that one. And this is, you know, it's low-key about him. So I figured he'd put a lot of shine, a lot of little, little sasson on that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, but what we got here? So it's the life of uh, well, the beginning of BMF, right? Big Meech and all them. Uh, so we got their childhood, which was cool because it was super quick, right? Uh, but you know, let me let me start saluting the uh, the actors that's up in there, man. Um, so the one that's playing Big Meech is his actual son. All right, so salute to that. So I know how y'all y'all know y'all know me. I come down hard on niggas acting, right? But when you when I find out that a, a son is playing his father and he never acted before, I'm going to give him some grace. I understand. I'm not finna kill him. I'm not finna kill him. I saw some some lacking, but no, no man. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing, young bro. I appreciate it. So I'm not going to kill none of that, right? Uh Oh, my God. Cash doll. Look, I don't mean to get... You know what I'm saying? To the fellas that know who Cash Doll is and know what scene I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. I enjoyed it, to say the least. Sorry, ladies. I did, You know, it was a special moment for a lot of us fellas out there. So, y'all just going to have to y'all just gonna have to take that. But salute to Cash Doll, get in the bag. Uh, my nigga, um, Chicago's very own, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's my man's name? Wood Harris, right? A.K.A. Avon Barksdale, A.K.A. Acito from Paid in Full. You know what I'm saying? This man, when you put Wood Harris in some shit, boom, golden. So Wood Harris played an OG that putting him on with the work and shit. Um, you got I man, so many good black actors. I can't like you know what I'm saying. Like I ain't seen in a while. Like Meech and them father. I know I know him from something. A lot of shit actually. Can't think of his name, but he, doing this thing. Um, who else in that motherfucker? The Crooked Cop? I see him everywhere. Can't think of his name. I, I just, y'all know who I'm talking about, though. These are, like, elite black people. Like, 50 does a good balance of, like, giving you some, some well, well-rounded individuals. You know what I'm saying? Bringing up some people that, that ain't been working in a while, but, you know, could get the job done. So, yeah. Um, but this was pretty, pretty much clear cut. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do appreciate the fact that they went through the childhood fast, right? As soon as they show Meech and his brother Terry as kids, I'm like, okay. Like, unless something super exciting happens, we need to hurry up and move past this stage. And that's exactly what they did. It was fucking a five to ten minute childhood, and I appreciate it. It's like, okay, we kind of know they live in situation. But they got a loving mother, loving father. They got a whole family system right and you know it begs a question because you see a father go to work every day hard working you see a mother very religious your family's very religious she works she holds down the house uh it's a lot of love in there and you know as a parent you'd be like damn you could raise your kid as best as possible but when they want things like that you know sharing the the hot water that's about to be boiled it's still living conditions that could push you know what i'm saying good people well-raised kids into situations that want to hustle you know they, they just want more 
And you know, and I, I, I'll be wondering, is that more dangerous? Right? I always ask that question. Is it more dangerous? Is it more dangerous or the person more dangerous if they get into hustling or the streets from necessity or want? You know what I'm saying? Because did they need to hit the streets? No, they've been living hella years. Yeah, it's been a struggle, but you got food every night. You got the house. The the water situation's fucked, but whatever. You surviving, you you got your needs. But see, they got wants. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what, you know. But we get a good little idea. You know, Meech is good at heart is what they portray to us, his brother Terry. They got Meech being the very uh, broad person. He's the big picture guy, right? He... You could tell by the se- by the, the several scenes that he's infatuated with the the mafia, the the way they're the infrastructure of the mafia. You know, because he sees the everyday street shit, little cliques, little gangs. I love how they broke it down. Um, broke down the sections, the twelve street boys, the fifty, the fifty baggers, or whatever the fuck their name is. I don't know. There's only four of them. Um. And some other section I can't remember, but it reminds me of like John Leguizamo in Empire. That is my brother G. Tiene que ir al leader y cogerlo fuerte. You gotta go straight to the leader and take him down hard. Did I just? Yeah. Have y'all seen Empire with John Leguizamo? Come on, man. You ain't the Fat Joe was in there, the dancing ladies. Like, come on, man. Don't tell me y'all ain't seen John Leguizamo as a goddamn drug dealer. Man, go check out Empire, man. But yeah, they they took a they took a little bit from that, right? When they start breaking down sections and shit. Um, but what was I? Meech, Meech and his brother. So you see that Meech is the big picture guy, like I said. Terry's the uh, he's more of the business mind. He's more. I don't know who's more ambitious. Terry is. They showing Terry being very ambitious, but they show him being Meech's support system. Meech is not living here. Terry and them is dealing with reality and right here. Meech is so out there, like, look, look how the mafia runs. Like, he wants that same infrastructure. He believes he could pull that off. You know what I'm saying? But they, he just needs the opportunity. Oh, uh, we see Wood Harris. We got the old head. He the one supplying them to work. They already having conversations about how they making just pennies off the shit because they dealing with a middleman in Wood Harris. Which is what everybody, but this thing is moving so fast. Like we learned everything. We know who they supply is. We know the relationship. Wood Harris, his, his character loves them. Um, they show us the beef that's coming. The, the Twelve Street Boys and the, I love they brought a psycho nigga out of prison. That the, everybody knows. If you stay in the hood, everybody knows that one nigga. You know how everybody run around talking about some free so and so, free them, free that. It's one nigga that the hood. It's like, no, don't free that man. No. Fucking no. Leave that nigga in prison. Because he was a terrorist when he was out here. Much like Omar from The Wire, right? That's who this this dude is, fresh out. Right? He's a He robs the drug dealers, nigga. Nobody wants him. Okay? He is a nuisance. Right? And it just so happened that Meech has found himself into a beef with the 12 Street Boys and a beef with this psycho killer nigga over Cash Doll. Like... Over Mo, that's her name in there, Mo. So Meech's whole the the the, the soon as he <laughs> so they show us him having to deal with beef out the gate. Um, he then we see more of Meech's uh character like when he went to Twelve Street Boys uh, meeting right right out the beginning. You see the the differences. You know Terry had the gun stashed there. He's the thinker dealing with the now Meech is trying to propose to them like man we could pool our resources together and take over all of Detroit like why we you know what I'm saying and they not trying to hit that because they still street mentality you know this whole thing is showing you that Meech is never a, a, a street nigga essentially like industries do this but here businessmen here mafia boss here the, you know corporation corporation that's that's what Meech is about um we see the resentment from his father, who looked like he working about six, looked like he worked about eight days a week, you know what I'm saying? Eight days out of seven days. Still, the house is going down. The mother low-key knows that what Meech is doing is illegal, but she's been taking that money until Pop was brought it to the forefront. And, um, yeah, he just, you know, and he's family first. We see a lot of things. I, I like this. This was a good opening episode. I really do appreciate it. We get the relationship. We got action out the gate. 
We got the beefs. We got the players. We got everything. Everything wrapped up in one episode. The like I might have beef with the way Power and Fifty and them end seasons. I might have a problem with season finales, but they fucking openers, they intros, hard body. They got hard body Lil Wayne Carter two intros. You feel me? Like I like they grab you immediately. So um, it's shaping up to be a good one. So obviously we see what's coming. Um, Meech and them want to do bigger, better things. So they, they got to cut Wood Harris out, but they still his they he's still his man's in them. So he wants to find out a way to make him richer. Right, but they still got they trying to go independent. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, uh Pops, him and Meech was beefing, kicked him out the house, you know, it got the family turmoil, but they kinda came together with the baby. So, you know, it was a little tender of grounds, but family first is, seems to be the situation. Um, Twelfth Street Boys look like they they trying to take over more. I don't know how a nation of Twelfth Street Boys like it, when they showed the like breakdown, it was like twenty seven of them niggas, and then uh, Meech and his crew was four deep, you know. Oh, and they showed the the lady of the group. Can't think of her name right now, but she clearly, clearly is smarter than your average drug dealer, right out the gate. She said, "Look, these fifties ain't selling. I'm trying to make some money." So, you know, he didn't like that she made them decisions on her own, but he do appreciate her fucking um. Uh, God damn, why am I drawing a blank on that word? He does appreciate her fucking fortitude. Is that what I'm to... No, it's not fortitude. Nigga. You know the word I'm thinking about, but I am drawing a complete blank. But uh, resourcefulness? Okay, whatever. But anyway, so we could tell that she's finna move up in the ranks. We, we could see that she separated herself with at least making a sale. You know what I'm saying? But she... They got to understand structure is everything. Like, we appreciate you, but all about structure. Um, also, we got the crazy psychotic nigga out in the streets. He, I don't know how long he going to be around, but while he is, the fact that he hit, ran over me with that car as a warning, like, damn, nigga, you ain't even going to, like, press up on me. Like, nigga, how am I supposed to know this is your woman or your baby mama or what, whatever the fuck, like. Holla at me first, nigga. Don't hit me with the car and then tell me to stay away. Like, nigga, what you on? Like, that's a hell of an intro. Like, this to let you know. The nigga wasn't even in prison. He was in the crazy house. Something about Reagan releasing crazy niggas or some shit. I don't know. The fashion, I love it. They stayed in the same vein. This is 80s, though. You know what I'm saying? So they got the the big-ass glasses. A lot of niggas dressing like Run DMC with a lot of gold chains. I appreciate that. It It looks a little goofy. But it's some fly shit, man. I don't even know if them niggas is a prescription. I think they out here like Calvin and shit from Paid and Fool. You know what I'm saying? With, nigga had glasses with no lens in them. Like, classic shit. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, I think, I think, did I touch on everything? Yeah, so far, I mean, we know how this story goes, right? So, like, if you just look up any, there's, there's several uh youtube documentaries on bmf and everything like that so you could find the just you know how the story ends meech is currently locked up like we it's no fucking surprise here but you know so predicting what happens next is a little you know my hot takes i love to do my hot takes you know we we kind of know where the fuck this whole thing ends you know but um it's a nice journey you know what i'm saying so uh i guess i gotta say What's, uh, I guess we could just do favorite scenes and shit. So I think the best actor so far, the one who won this episode for me, had to be uh, Wood Harris. I enjoyed him. Uh, he Because he, he broke down the game to him how you can't let these 12th Street niggas run over you, right? He has been, he's like a beacon of of information. He's a an extinct breed of, of, of OG. Like, actually cares. Like, oh, y'all sold that that fast? Okay, no, nah, y'all can't get no more. Like, y'all need to chill. Because he understands, like, yeah, what's more important than money is your freedom and not dealing with the police. So the the more you do, the higher you get, you putting yourself in a larger radar, right? So I appreciate him breaking that down to him. Um, yeah, I like him talking about a gift fly for my birthday. I just love, I love Wood's energy and his whole shit. I got to give him winning the episode. Uh, definitely killed it, per usual, you know what I'm saying? Um, best scene? Outside of cash, though? Oh, my God. 
love that woman. But uh, best scene, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say, ooh, I like the one with uh the 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 lady hustler out there on the bench. I like I, it 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 gave you a tell of everybody. I like that, um, because it shows the problems they facing right away. It shows you who on your team is you know good who can handle adversary adversity, and then it shows you the exact thinking of Meech versus Terry, you know what I'm saying? But how they're both necessary to reach the success we know they're going to reach. So, um, I'm going to wrap it up with that, man, till, you know what I'm saying? Till next episode, but goddamn, hustlers is hustling. Y'all not motivated? Y'all not hustling? I like it though. I like it though. Meech, uh, little Meech, I don't know why I should call you Demetrius. You know what I'm saying? I, good job, bro. Good job. Your first time out the gate. I appreciate it. Um, with that, man, you know how this shit goes, man. Protect your health, yourself, your wealth. All right. Y'all be easy out there. And when I say hustling, don't be out here doing no. no come on, man. This ain't the 80s and the 90s, nigga. You, it, the drugs is not. No, it's not. That, that's not the move. Don't do that. Don't do that. But anyway, man, your boy is out of here, man. Peace. <laughs>